Bear and Squirrel Are Friends by Deb Paludi. It's true that Bear was much bigger than Squirrel and that a bear will sometimes eat a squirrel for dinner, but Bear and Squirrel were friends. They had a lot in common. They liked to gather acorns and blueberries. Bear was very strong. He would shake the trees until nuts rained down on the forest floor. Squirrel was very fast. He zipped from nut to nut, collecting them for supper. Bear helped Squirrel make a cozy nest of leaves and twigs. Squirrel helped Bear tidy up his den. And they both like to play games. The other squirrels asked, why are you hanging around with a bear? He'll eat you up for a midnight snack. Squirrel said, don't be silly, bear is my friend. The other bear said, squirrel would make a good midnight snack. Bear said, that's ridiculous, squirrel is my friend. Squirrel and bear ignored the other animal's remarks and went off to play Guess That Song. Oh, I know this one. And when Bear settled in for a long winter nap, Squirrel waited patiently for his friend to wake up. And waited. And waited. Until spring finally arrived, Bear began to stir. It's good to see you, said Squirrel. It's good to see you too, said Bear. You look different, said Squirrel. You look different too, said Bear. You look delicious, said Bear. Why, thank you, Bear, said Squirrel. I mean, you look like you would taste delicious, said Bear. They looked at each other for a long time. Gulp. I'm sorry, Squirrel. I can't help myself, said Bear. Excuse me. Stop, Bear. Squirrel is your friend. But Bear couldn't stop. I'm sorry, Squirrel. I didn't save you any. It's okay, Bear. I can make more, said Squirrel. Bear ate all the blueberry pancakes that Squirrel made until not a morsel was left. He ate every last berry. He even licked the plate clean, but he did not eat Squirrel. What? You didn't really think I'd eat Squirrel, did you? Friends don't eat friends. More pancakes, Bear? The end.